Good morning for those that are interested in what I typically eat in a day on a low carb diet. Stick around and I'll show you. Let's go. I do intermittent fasting and what that means is I take a certain amount of hours in a day and I will eat during those hours and then the rest of the time I will fast. So currently I start eating at noon and then I finish up eating by six o'clock in the evening. You don't necessarily have to do fasting when you are on a keto low carb diet. I do it because I like how it makes me feel. I don't like having a bloated stomach when I go to bed at night. It does help speed up the weight loss on this diet, but I also love the way it makes me feel. So in the mornings, I get up and I have coffee. I have black coffee. This is an espresso that's just foam on the top from the machine. It's just black coffee. There's no sweetener in it. There's no heavy whipping cream. There's nothing in it but just black coffee. Fasting was a hard thing to do in the beginning. I'm used to getting up in the morning and eating right away and having cream in my coffee. And so it was an adjustment period to go through. We started with our fasting at 10 o'clock in the morning and I barely could make it to 10 o'clock. I was so used to eating early in the morning. But now my body has adjusted to it and I'm really not hungry until around noon, depending on the dinner that I eat the night before. If I eat a dinner that is high in fat and protein, it will carry me the next day until noon. So I'm going to right now sit here and drink my black coffee and make my plan for the rest of the day and I will see you at noon. It is almost noon. I've been busy working this morning and it is time to eat. I'm hungry. I have a hot breakfast here. I don't know if you can see the steam coming up. Today I'm going to be having two scrambled eggs scrambled in bacon grease. If you have never had eggs cooked in bacon grease, I highly recommend it. It's so delicious. And all I have done is put a little bit of salt on these eggs and I have bacon here that I bake in the oven and then I have some avocado here this was a pretty small avocado so this is a whole avocado and it's just starting to get a little mushy so I thought I better eat that today after I get done eating this I'm going to run to Sam's Club and pick up some more avocados and some other things I may show you what I get from there when I get back and then I have laid out some beef short ribs for dinner tonight so I'll be showing you those in a little while so stay tuned this is my little haul from Sam's Club today. I picked up some fresh berries. I like to eat a little bit of berries once in a while. I got, of course, some avocados. I was all out. Got some Rayos. This is a great deal on Rayos if you have a Sam's Club membership. And I got some Parmesan cheese. And these here are amazing. These are cheddar jalapeno smoked sausages. We grill these on the grill or I'll put them in the air fryer. They are so good and they are sold out a lot. So when I see them available at Sam's Club, I pick them up and throw them in the freezer. I got some fresh broccoli. I'm gonna make a broccoli salad for dinner today. And I'll show you that in a little bit. I got some low carb uh, tortillas. My husband sometimes will take a wrap in his lunch. I got this big 10 pound bag of chicken wings. We make our own chicken wings. Uh, Buffalo Wild Wings Parmesan Garlic Sauce. I get that at a local grocery store. And I got cream cheese. We use that for a lot of things. And of course, eggs. I have four dozen eggs here. We eat a lot of eggs between just me and my husband. So this is my little Sam's Club haul. And I'm gonna get started working on dinner here in a minute. And I will show you just here in a little bit what we are having for dinner. I also went to a little store in our area that is called Fit Bites and they make keto bakery items and I have a gift card that my son and daughter-in-law had given us and we have been using that there from time to time and I went in there today and picked up a few little treats and these right here for instance these are a cinnamon donut hole and they are coconut flour cinnamon eggs almond milk and soy free plant based butter and baking soda and swerve and there is three carbs in two of these 
donut holes and there is zero net carbs in this. So we are going to probably have one of these after dinner with some tea. And in this here, these are peanut butter cups. I do make these on my own, but I went ahead and got these because they are also good. These are five, these are four carbs in one cup. It's so nice to have this little store close by if you want something sweet um, to be able to pick up something like this. So just wanted to show you that little haul as well. I'm going to show you a simple broccoli salad that I'm going to make for today. This is a low carb recipe and I am going to just throw it together here. I have about three quarters cup of mayonnaise here that I'm going to be using. And I'm going to put in a about a tablespoon of apple cider vinegar. And this is monk fruit sweetener. You can use whatever sweetener you like. I'm going to do one, two, three teaspoons of sweetener. And I'm gonna whisk all this together. This is the dressing for the broccoli salad. Okay, I have here about two cups of chopped broccoli. And I have about a half a cup of chopped cooked bacon from breakfast that I had this morning left over. And I have just a little bit of red onion. We don't put a whole lot of onion in it. So just a little bit. I took one slice off of an onion and chopped it up. I usually use cheddar cheese for this recipe, but I have, uh, I'm all out of cheddar. So this is a Mexican cheese that I had in the fridge. And this is about maybe a quarter cup of cheese. And then I have, these you can leave out if you like. Um, but I'm going to put just a tablespoon of these sunflower nuts into the mixture just for a little bit of crunch. And then I'm just going to mix it all together. Make sure that all of the dressing on the bottom gets incorporated. So I'm going to cover this with a lid, put it in the refrigerator, and just let all the ingredients just kind of soak in. And this will be ready in time for dinner. It'll be easy to pull out and just serve with our ribs. This is going to be dinner. I'm going to be putting short ribs in the Instant Pot, and I'll show you how I do that. These are beef short ribs bone in that we got from our very first cow. We ordered a quarter of a cow, and I have a video that I made recently of how much meat we got from a quarter of a cow. So if you're interested in that, you can go check that out. But this is the ribs that we got. I haven't tried the ribs from this cow yet, so I'm so excited. I have this smokehouse meat rub that I got from an Amish market, and I haven't tried it on these ribs yet, but I'm sure it's gonna be very good. So I'm just going to sprinkle that all over the ribs. I'm gonna pour in about a cup of beef broth sauce made by Ray's, no sugar added. This is a low carb barbecue sauce and it's pretty tasty. I'm going to put this all over the ribs. It's probably about half a cup or so. I don't do a whole lot of measuring. So now I'm just gonna seal this up and I'm gonna turn it on for 45 minutes and then I'm going to let it slow release for about 10 to 20 minutes and then I'll show you what they look like. This is the ribs, they're all done. I'm about to plate them up and try them out. It is time for dinner and I have my short ribs here. They came out super tender in the Instant Pot. They are falling off the bone and I have my broccoli salad here. Camera's set up a little bit high right now and this is dinner. I'm gonna go ahead and eat this and I'll let you know how it was. That dinner was delicious. That will definitely be on my list of recipes to make again. We are winding down for the night. We're about to have a cup of tea. Sometimes in the evening, if we want something after six o'clock, we will just have a cup of hot tea. And we're gonna try out our donut holes that I got today at the little low carb bakery that makes the keto treats. 
give me a thumbs up for this video if you like seeing what I eat in a day videos. And I'll see you next time.